What's good? Y'all know who it is. Y'all know what it is. It's your boy Matthew Shaq driving in LA, man. And this is this is some good ass news. Some good ass news just went across the wire, man. This is why I think I might need to stay in my car because every time I'm in my car, I'm hearing about some good ass news. And this news is something that I have been wanting to happen for two years. Las Vegas Raiders have just released. I, ooh, I just love saying this. LaMarcus Joyner, man. LaMarcus Joyner has now been the next casualty and the next contestant. Uh, get the hell out of Vegas. Get, get your ass out of here, man. And we saved $9.95 million on the cap, man. I got people texting me. I got people hitting me up, man. And uh, I'm like, this right here is nothing to be afraid of, okay? If you want to be upset about the, the recent uh, cuts and, and releases that we've done, Raider Nation, be upset about Gabe Jackson. That right there is the only one so far out of Gabe Jackson. You missed that video. Go back and see that. Richie Incognito, you missed that. Go back and check that out. Video. And today, all right, that's the only one so far, man. Even Tyrell Williams, if you missed that one, go back to, to, to video. All those to me, uh, outside of Gabe Jackson, I'm giving Mike Mayock and John Gruden a salute, man, because we are opening the doors to free agency, man. We are getting our pockets right, okay? It's the same thing that happens when you get your tax return, man, and you got some extra paper to play with, okay? Fortunately enough for us, we need every damn thing on the defensive side of the ball, man. And outside of what we've been hearing about Richie Incognito, Possibly re-signing, which I think would be a good situation for uh for R.I. He needs to go ahead, take a pay cut, come back and play with the Raiders, man. He's 37 years old and uh, damn near 38 if he's in already 38. And uh, come back, man, and get, get himself back into that silver and black, man, because he fits the pedigree of what we're trying to do. Um, but in regards to LaMarcus Joyner, man, this is a cat who I saw too many times, man, Start a game, first kept playing the game, his ass is rolling around on the field, hurt. Get out, think he's not coming back, come back the next play, get burnt. The guy contract was voted by, I think was a playoff football focus, I mean pro football focus, as the worst contract in the National Football League. And hey man, once a Raider, always a Raider and all that good stuff, but that's all parting gifts. That's all, hey man, thank you for coming. Uh, it's at the end of the party. Hey, man, shake everybody's hand. Thank you, man. You ain't got to go home, but you got to get the hell out of here type shit. So I'm extremely happy. We, we're now playing with some money, okay? We got a couple more things to shore up. If we can figure out what we're going to do with Marcus Mariota or, or, or whatever, we can really be in a position to pick up some bomb-ass free agents, man. Pay attention to what's going on out here with the waiver wire and who's getting cut. And who we could pick up, we still got an opportunity to get Melvin Ingram. We still have an opportunity to get Leonard Williams. We still have an opportunity to get uh, uh, anybody else that we may desire to get. Okay, plus that tax benefits that being in, in, in Las Vegas, Richard Sherman, whoever. So I'm extremely happy. If there was two guys that I did not want to have on the team anymore, was Tyrell Williams. And LaMarcus Joyner, man. And like I said before, if they decide to come back at a lesser number, so be it. Okay? But not at these prices, baby. Not at these prices. All right, man. Love all y'all out there, man. Raider Nation for life. Salute.